Hello and welcome to this Tech Talk video on compass calibrating your Typhoon H. Is your Typhoon H giving you the yellow indication? Or your ST16 giving you the compass calibration warning? We'll show you how to do the compass calibration now. To start the calibration process, select settings and calibration, calibrations, and compass. The lights on the back will start flashing slowly. When it's ready, it'll start flashing fast. You'll also notice two lights flashing on each of the arms. We'll grab each of these arms and rotate the aircraft in a forward flip motion. Two other lights will light up. We'll then grab these two arms and rotate them. Repeat this process until the calibration has been completed. If you see a white light after your compass calibration, this is a sign that your compass calibration has failed. We'll need to redo this process. So power down your aircraft and power it back on. To start the calibration process, select settings and calibration, calibrations, and compass. Repeat this process until the calibration has been completed. All right, a green light indicates that the compass calibration has been completed successfully and the aircraft will also restart. When should we do a compass calibration? Well, Anytime that the aircraft itself is giving you an indication with the yellow light while in flight or on the ground, your ST-16 will also show you a compass calibration warning. This is just a visual warning of when you need to do a compass calibration. But we think you should do compass calibrations anytime you move long distances. So you go over 200 miles, it's probably a good idea to do that compass calibration. If you take your, your aircraft with you on a plane, it's also a good idea to do a compass calibration when you get to your location. Thank you for watching this Tech Talk video on compass calibrating your Typhoon H. Now pack up your drone, head out of town, and perform a compass calibration, because now you know how.